Today, I get to combine two of the things that I love most in life, Mexican food and Korean food. I'm stopping in at Taqueria to get one of their Korean fusion burritos, and I couldn't be more excited. Hey, what's up, David? What's up, man? So tell me about Taqueria. Taqueria is a small neighborhood restaurant that I opened about two years ago. A Korean Mexican restaurant that I combined the flavors together for. What inspired you to bring these two cuisines together? I watched Steve Harvey's video on YouTube, and it talked about you can be safe in life or you can soar in life. I wanted to soar that, and my mom had a restaurant for about 10 years. Yeah. She used to cook all the traditional Korean meats, but Korean parents, very traditionalist, so they never thought about fusion. So whenever I suggested it, they didn't want me to do it. Yeah. So when I had the chance to open my own restaurant, I told my mom that I'm gonna use your meat and I'm gonna use my guys and make my own Mexican food. And Mama Lee on the menu, that's your mother, right? She is the famous Mama Lee. Tell me a little bit about the aesthetic of the restaurant. So I grew up in the 90s hip hop, like Wu-Tang and Will Smith, and yeah. all that was just big, big part of my life. And I wanted to create a restaurant where I personally would come in and hang out. And it's kind of become a great like date spot. Because it's communal seating, and there's yeah. a lot of people here. People feel ease to come in here and hang out. What are your most popular items? In the so there's a couple of things. California burrito is the most popular thing on my menu, but instead of french fries, I use tater tots, and I changed the neighborhood. I made everyone pretty much gain some weight around here. <laughs> Spicy pork bowl, that's my mom's bowl. Yeah. It's something I grew up eating my whole life. Rice, some vegetables, spicy pork, and an egg on top, and crowd favorite. I'm so excited. Can I get in the kitchen and make a burrito? My man, Jose, will show you everything that you need to do. All right, let's do it, Jose. All right, Jay, we're making a California burrito, correct? That is correct, yes. All right, take me through it. All right, so once this meat gets going here, right. we're going to get that nice and toasty. We'll get these tots crisping up right Dang. here. It's like about right. Are people really excited to kind of see that there are like Korean elements in a Mexican restaurant? Yeah, especially with the flavors that you get. Like, I mean, it's two of the best foods. You put them together, Hell yeah. you got magic right there. <laughs> yep. All right, so we got our tortilla nice and warm. Get that down. We get these extra crispy tots right here. This is the magic Holy right here. This is where it goes down. Smokes, this is going to give you that crunch that you need. Tasty Korean bulgogi beef on there. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw a little of our house-made pico de gallo on there. Our theory here is that you should never be hungry after eating a burrito. Yeah. You should always be able to walk away here, even a little uncomfortably full. <laughs> Boom. Look at that. That's you got a pretty. perfect cylinder right there. Woo. I am so excited to dig into this. Please do. You get that crunch going in it. Oh my that God. That mix of flavors right there. I love blue goat. And to have it delivered like this, I can't believe I haven't had it until now. Right. This burrito was absolutely incredible. I'm gonna come back and probably try the whole menu. Please do. Thank you so much for having me today, Thank guys. You.